remember this will void your warranty but it'll also save you a hundred bucks which is about the price of an xbox these days so it's worth a try is what i'm trying to say and it works because i've done it all i ask in return you go play poker all right you got those in there now you take your silver screws that are the short ones these ones will secure it to the body alright got them up there you gotta change the number 10 Torx alright and screw them in don't forget where they came from there's three in the front Right underneath the drive, two on this side, make it easy for you, you can take a felt tip pin and mark where these screws came out of, if you don't think you'll remember, that's what I used to do but now I remember. Remember I have the clutch on too, it's on one so I don't strip anything out. Okay, done. Now, flip it up. You want to put this piece back in there. It's your infrared and on off switch, pops right on. You got three more of these little black screws. Guess where they go. First one. Second one. Last one for this. All right, now that you got that in there, take your plastic uh, faceplate here. There's an arrow on it. Let me show you the arrow. Point up, that means it goes up, it goes right over the top of that screw. And right where your button meets this hole there. Snaps right on. Alright. Now you can put your fan back in. First put the power in the fan. And it's got two of these uh, little feet that go in the, the holes. It's real easy. Put them in the holes and then rock it forward. It's simple. Rocket four. That's simple. All right. Next step. Put in your uh, fan uh, cover. Easy as that. Just basically sits right in there because your uh, disc drive holds it down. Okay. So now you want to plug your uh, drive back in. It's real easy. Only only goes one way. Okay. SATA cable and your power cable. Once it's in there, it sets right down in there. Just like that. Alright, take the top of your Xbox with the tin housing on it. Make sure you figure out which end is the front end and the back end. It should sit right on top of it. Just like that. Once you got that, flip it over. And this is where your long screws go back in. One there, one there, there. Don't forget to play in my poker room. Go have fun. Screw them in with the, remember, set on one clutch. That's the clutch, can't strip it out. It's probably too tight though. I use a screw gun because I'm lazy. Okay, 
once that's on there, you want to take your button, put it back on. Real easy. It goes right on. Pushes down. Make sure it works. It works. Take your top case. Just set it over the top. Once you get there, snap it closed in the back first. You'll hear it. So that one's closed. You close it in the front so it all snaps together. There, my warranty's void. All right. Now you can put your heat, your uh, on whatever these are called, back on. You just snap back on like that. Be too close. And then this one, you want the notch in the front. Back on. And the face plate, like that, and you're all done. Cut. Alright, now I got this thing back together. You actually got, it's still not going to work, I'll show you. Because you got to do what's called the towel trick. You've probably seen the other videos on how to do the towel trick. Still got the flashing lights here. That means there's no AV plugged in for flashing. Now it's back to three flashing. So now what we gotta do to fix this area is we gotta get it to overheat and reset. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap in some towels now. Throw these tampons away. And you can go check out my poker site while you're doing this. Don't forget to go to my poker site in the description and go play some free poker. This thing's gonna work here in about 20 minutes. So I'm gonna wrap in some towels. You need to take three towels and you're wrapping three towels with it plugged in to just the, the power cable by itself. Alright, I got myself three towels and here's what you want to do with the power on. You want to take it, you want to wrap it in three towels. What I do is I wrap it one way, just like I do those pennies. Wrap it one way like that. This might be the hardest part of fixing this thing. Get your other towel. Wrap it the other way, like that, and your final towel, you want it to overheat so you reset it, it takes about 20-30 minutes for it to overheat, that's why you don't want a disc in there either, It'll scratch it if you did that, I'm going to let it sit for 20 minutes, go play a game of poker in the meantime, and we'll show you that it works after this. All right, just got back. It's been about 20 minutes. As you can see, the light on the uh, power supply turned from green to yellow. All right, so that means it's turned itself off from overheating. Just gotta take these towels off of here. All right, gotta unwrap my little gift here of the working Xbox. Don't forget to go to my poker room if you haven't already. Links over there on the side. And as you can see, it's got two flashing red lights, which means it's overheated, which is what you want right now. So unplug your unit. It's off now. Let it cool down for a little while. All right, it's been about 20 minutes. The machine's nice and cool now. Go ahead and plug in your uh, AV cable into the back. Uh, you can go ahead and put your hard drive back on now at this point. And plug the power in, and hopefully this puppy will work. I know it'll work actually. Don't forget to go to my poker room, and uh, and good luck fixing your own Xbox, because this one's gonna work. There you go. It's fixed, ladies and gentlemen.